Shoe on Head dropped a video a few days ago called The Twitch Thought Epidemic and Its Consequences. And in that video, she went hard at every female Twitch streamer, every female OnlyFans creator, and did it in a very dishonest, incredibly hypocritical, hateful way. And I'm here to talk about it. And what's crazy is she even puts in clips of herself making sense from a few years back, saying if you don't like sexual content on the internet, don't watch it. Um, stuff like that. But she's now completely gone the other direction and is saying that it is saturated and it's everywhere on the internet as if it hasn't always been everywhere on the internet as if porn hasn't always been on the internet she's acting as this as though this is new and the even more dishonest thing that she's doing here is she's making it seem like all female content creators on Twitch and OnlyFans and and TikTok even basically anywhere but YouTube which is interesting um it, it's it's very very shows her bias about being an exclusive to YouTube content creator and she's making it seem like all of us that don't exclusively stream to YouTube and are female and have adult themed content are preying on children. Because according to Shoe on Head, uh, platforms like Twitch are marketed to children and parents only know about platforms like Twitter and YouTube. They, they don't know about Twitch apparently because millennials are somehow like 80 years old and have no idea how technology works all of a sudden. I, I don't understand why a parent in their 30s to 40s, which is the millennial generation right now, wouldn't know what Twitch was. At the very least, wouldn't know what a streaming site was. And I'm sorry, Shu, but it's not on the creator to police the children, unless the children are the creator's children. Like me, I don't let my kids on the internet because I know what's out there, right? That's called good parenting, okay? And it's not the creator's fault if there are a bunch of shitty parents who throw their kids on a screen and don't pay attention to what they're watching. That's not our fault. And we're not marketing our content towards those children. We're marketing it to adults. And if the adults want to engage with our content, whether it be sexual, sensual, or not, whether it be gaming in a bikini, whether it be painting your boobs, whether it be cooking in a thong, like you, the, that's uh, that's allowed, okay? If you if you're doing OnlyFans, that's allowed. If you want to cook on OnlyFans in in a g-string, fucking why? What's wrong with that? And is it on the creators that the site doesn't require ID to have a viewer account? No. Is it the Pornhub creators' fault that the only check and balance? is a checkbox that says, yes, I'm over 18. No, that's the platform's fault. And quite frankly, we need to have platforms actually stand up and say, no, kids aren't allowed here because the internet is not for fucking children. And it, honestly, even when we were on the internet, we had no business being on there. Do you guys remember freaking vampire freaks? How many murder cases did we hear about in the early 2000s? from some chick who's like 13 years old. She meets some 21 year old, 22 year old dude on vampire freaks. They, they fall in love. They're 
the, her parents find out. They go, fuck no. And next thing you know, Buddy's down in her house and they've committed murder together because she wants to be with him. Yeah. But no, this is brand new, right, Shu? This is this is brand new, and every female creator that's not on YouTube that happens to do sensual content is a pedophile. That's what you're saying, Shu. You're saying that we're all pedophiles. Just because the word didn't leave your mouth doesn't mean you're not saying it. When you say things like, these whores are preying on young boys, you are calling us pedophiles. And you're also going after our looks. You're going after everything you can to show your bias and your hatred of the thing that you don't want to do. Fine, don't do it. Don't do it. But don't pretend that you don't have to put on, you know, extra things to make yourself look camera ready. Don't pretend that you don't have to, you know, add some makeup and stuff to, to get on camera. Like, do you think, do you think going after looks is really what you want to do? In, if you want to make a reasoned argument about children not having access to the internet, that's one thing. But the minute you want to go high school and be like, ah, you're just all mid-tier whores. Like, that's how you sound right now. You sound like a petulant 15-year-old child who's angry that, that other women have figured out a way to help make some money. And by the way, the other problem that this is not on the fault of the creator for is that the fact that so many women have to go to OnlyFans to make extra money. Did you think about that? Did you think that maybe the amount of women going to OnlyFans is a direct response to the fact that the cost of living has gone up so high that on top of their other job, they have to take pictures and videos of themselves so that, so that strangers will pay them money so that they can fucking eat. Did, did, you ever, did you ever consider that that might be an economic issue that is also not on the fault of the creator? No? No, we're all just pedophile whores? Really? That's the hill you want to die on, Shu? That's the look you want to go out on? You, you want to call all other female content creators that don't happen to be exclusive to YouTube pedophile whores? Because that's really what this looks like. And it's pathetic and it's very transparent to anybody who has a brain and quite frankly this quote pedophile whore has one and I can see through your bullshit you're a hypocrite and you're a liar and you know it you know it you know that twitch is on the TOS you have to be 17 just because the no, not 17. Sorry, sorry, 13. Why did I say 17? Oh, seven, 18 was for TikTok Live. Twitch is, you need to be 13 to create a viewer account. I believe you need to be 17 to stream. Um, or I, I, I need to re go back and look. But I know you can't just... Like, there, there are... <laughs> there, even on TikTok, you have to be 18 to stream. Like... There are platform checks too, Shu. You're being completely dishonest. The app store says 12 and up. That doesn't make it TOS for that website. That's just what the app stores say. And for you to, to show that screenshot from, from the app store, when you know that it's you know 13 for Twitch and Twitter to create a, a viewer account, uh, 13 for a viewer account for normal YouTube. Um, and again, for, for actual streaming, for at least TikTok, you need to be 18, and I'm pretty sure it's 17 for Twitch. And if you're going to get payouts before you're 18, I'm pretty sure you need parental. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw a section when I was filling out my um, affiliate that said if you are under 18, you need like parental 
signatures and things. Like, there's... You can't just be a kid just w wandering around. Like, stop lying. Stop lying. There's no need for it. You could have made a video talking about the predatory nature of child predators and how they are using social media and how children shouldn't be on social media. And you could have made a very intellectual video about, about that danger. But instead, you decided to trash women because you feel inferior about yourself. That's what this looks like. It looks like you made a video because you feel inferior about yourself and you decided to call all female content creators that don't do or, or produce on the, the same place you do as pedophile whores. Now, I want you to take a, a, a moment to think. You're likening even, even the ones that are trying to insult our intelligence by saying painting their boobs is artistic nudity. Okay? I get that. That's not artistic nudity. That's somebody painting their boobs. But are you really going to sit there and tell me that that woman painting her boobs actually wants a 13-year-old watching her? Do you, do you really think that? Is that, what you're, is that what you're honestly going to tell me? That you think a woman that is in her 20s that is painting her tits would want a child watching them. Because if you actually think that, then I think you have a few more issues than you're willing to admit. Because I know for a fact that even when I'm just gaming in skimpy clothes and I'm shit talking, I don't want kids watching me. That's why my shit's 18 plus. That's why I have content labels. It's not my fault if Twitch puts my shit on the homepage. It's not my fault that if, if a child steals their parent's credit card and uses a Google account to log in. That's not my fault. That is a platform issue and that is a parent-child issue. It's not my job to police anyone else's kids but mine, and I'm doing a pretty good job of that myself, thank you, because I know to keep them off the internet. Sorry, Shu, this is a bad look for you. This is not a good hill to die on. And I may be a small time creator. I may be just sitting here in my baggy shirt and my sweatpants and my mid-tier self that mid-tier MILF category that you seem to hate. But at least I'm not likening all females that I don't approve of on the same level as child predators. How, how, how could you have produced that 26 minute video with that much dishonesty and gone, yeah, yeah, that's great, upload. Upload right now. Like, how? I don't get it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep repeating myself if I don't stop. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and if you wanna check out her full video, I'll leave it in the description below. Thanks, have a good day. See you in the next one.